Hi everyone, my name is Finn, and today I'm going to show you how to wall mount a TV. The first step in mounting a TV is, of course, deciding where you'd like to mount your TV. Putting a mount in will mean permanent alterations to your wall, so it's best to put a lot of time and thought into- How about right here? <sighs> okay, well, once you've found your location, find an appropriately sized TV mount and begin putting it into the wall. Okay, dude, that isn't even a TV mount, that's just some random bull crap you put together. Does it look like I care? Okay, well, anyway, once that's done, put your TV on the mount. And now, you can enjoy your wall-mounted television! Okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Perhaps there's something else I can make a how-to on. Ooh, I know. Hi everyone, my name's Finn, and today I'm going to show you how to make the best grilled cheese. For making this, you'll need bread, cheese, butter, a spatula, a butter knife, a plate, and a pan. Turn on the stove to, uh, I don't know, six, sure. Okay. Cover one side of each slice of your bread in butter. Once you've done that, take your cheese and put it between the bread. Make sure the butter side is facing the outside. Aw, oh, crap. Then place your bread onto the heated pan. Sweet. Now? Hello? Yeah, I got a sec, what's up? I hope you like burnt food. Oh, damn it. Really on that long? <sighs> well, that could have gone better. There's gotta be something else I can make a how-to on though. Got it. Hi everyone, my name is Finn, and today I'm gonna show you how to clean your room in the most efficient way. The first step in cleaning is to determine exactly what you need to clean. Take a look at your surroundings and holy crap, what is this? Yeah, fuck that. All right, well, if I can't clean, then I'll do some work. Hi, my name is Finn, and today I'm going to show you how to avoid procrastinating. Now, the first step in avoiding procrastination is to figure out what you need to do. Making a list of the tasks that you need to complete and when they need to be done by, and you've already fallen asleep, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit! <sighs> Damn it. Okay, clearly none of these are working. They just, they all go terribly. Wait a minute. That's it! Hi, my name's Finn, and today I'm going to show you how to make a terrible how-to. The first step in making a terrible how-to is to leave your instructions completely vague. Okay, the paper literally just says refrigerator. I, I, I don't know what to do. Next, make sure to make your instructions very clunky, lengthy, and highly redundant. Okay, take the cereal that has been residing in the cabinet out of the cereal cabinet so that the cereal cabinet is devoid of an amount of cereal in the cereal cabinet. Got it. Put tons of completely useless steps in that someone could do intuitively or are implied by other steps. Dude, I don't need a hundred fucking steps to tell me to go back and forth between the cabinet! Okay, well they're just getting mad at the number of steps done. After this, make sure to avoid proofreading your steps. Throw in typos, misplaced steps, and everything that makes a document look like it was written by a child. Jeez, did a two-year-old write this? No, a five-year-old did. Uh, that explains it. And finally, throw in tons of irrelevant steps to frustrate everyone who's using it. Okay, it's, it's talking about how to clean a closet, not even how to make cereal anymore. I give up. Finally, I've done it! I made a how-to! Uh, I still gotta clean that TV up, don't I?